Let us all feel the presence of our mighty Creator. We praise you and adore you. We humbly ask for your forgiveness to our sins. Come, be with us today. Fill our minds with learning. Fill our lessons with fun. Fill our friendships with kindness. We thank you. In all this we pray. Amen. The first in the classic model is known as Aristotle's model. This was conceived by Aristotle himself many years back. His concept of communication is a linear concept. As you can see the communication starts with a speaker and ends with effect. The model shown below illustrated the flow of communication. The speaker conceives ideas and it transcends to the different elements of communication. The only idea that a speaker gets if he was really understood is through the effect. It is with the final stage of the model that we can see if the message has been delivered. A change in attitude, response in conservation and visible gestures are among the manifestations of this effect. Aristotle Model of Communication, A Communication Theory, 2019 The second model is proposed by Osgood and Schramm. This illustrates that both the speaker or interlocutors perform the same functions. Both of them initiate ideas, interpret ideas, and decode ideas. This is considered to be one of the first cyclical models in communication. As the illustration shows, the message goes between the speakers. Both of the interlocutors send messages and interpret them at the same time. One can ensure understanding when the person we speak to can respond to the message delivered. The osgood Schram Model, 2019 Roman Jacobson's Communication Model In 1950 Roman Jacobson, who was the Russian linguist, produced theory concerning the purposes of the language used in human communication. This model of communication functions consists of two steps, elements of language use, factors of verbal communication, and what people do with the language when they use it, functions of verbal communication. Shukla, 2017 The last and one of the newer models that we have in understanding communication models is the one postulated by Roman Jacobson. He defined six functions of language, according to which an effective act of verbal communication can be described. Jacobson advocated that there are six elements or factors in an act of verbal communication, a context, an addresser, an addressee, a contact between an addresser and addressee, a common code, and a message. The model may be linear but it emphasizes the different factors that affect the communication process. Both the speakers are considered to be the addressee. The context refers to the situation the speakers are in. The message refers to the information being provided. Code refers to the way you deliver the message in Filipino, English, or any language. Contact means the way you will deliver a message may it be through media, interpersonal, or public, Shukla, 2017. Ferdinand de Saussure equals father of modern linguistics, 1. A concept slash idea triggers a sound pattern in the brain, 2. Then, a sound pattern in the brain triggers an actual pronunciation of the sound slash word in the brain which goes out of the mouth of the speaker, 3. This sound goes into the ear of the listener which also triggers sound pattern and ideas in the brain of the listener, which later on the speaker will utter. Sasha believes that the sound pattern formed by the brain is different from the actual sound produced by the mouth and heard by the ear. This is supported by the fact that there are different sounds but with the same sound pattern, what is this? Example is the sound of T and D. In English, T and D are two different sounds but with the Chinese, D T are just the same. Same goes with K and G in Korean. K and G are two different sounds but for Koreans these two are used as the same.
Harold maybe more Laswell, effective when expressing personal feelings similar to Aristotle's. Critics he just of these added linear the models called implicated the, the mediums of to communicating the two-way communication this aspect may be in the in form of print media like newspaper as we all While know some are broadcast communication media like TV a two-way and radio stations where in both the communicators the of what are often playing an interchangeable as some role are more effective in and receiver of the information for example this to reach a wider the communication audience, model of the use Laswell of the radio out or the television may be necessary on the element of feedback on the other hand a handwritten letter as opposed to a text message Shannon Weaver, or SHAWEA model of communication, has refined Laswell's model in 1949, where the element of noise is one of the distinct features of this model. It is the first model that explains that interruptions in every communication may occur. It is termed as noise. Looking at its origin, the element of noise initially referred to as interference of airwaves that results to choppy messages when using communication technology. Another classic model that explains communication. He expanded the work of Aristotle by adding sub-elements under each main elements from Aristotle's model and also added the encoding and decoding. The ideal communication occurs when both sender and receiver have the common expertise in communication skills, the same attitude, knowledge, social system, and culture. Symbolizing before a communicator can utter a sounds, he, she has to know the code of oral language with which will represent his, her ideas and to make his, her selection. For example, every word of a speech is a symbol of communication. In written communication, letters are the symbol of communication. Thinking a desire, feelings, or an emotion provides a communicator a stimulus to communicate a need. Expressing the communicator uses his, her vocal mechanism to produce the sounds of language accompanied by his, her facial expressing, gestures, and body stance. It also is the process of articulating thoughts and messages to receivers. People express ideas by symbolizing them. For example, a physician delivers his speech to stop people from drinking liquor. He expresses a persuasive speech to influence people. Monitoring while the communicator watches for the sign or understanding of his, her message among the listener audience, the communicator is receiving and decoding messages as well about him slash herself from his, her audience slash listener to adjust to the particular situation. In other words, the speaker is trying to understand whether or not the listener understood and accomplishes the message or not. In monitoring, it is just about observation. Decoding the communicator interprets the language symbols he, she receives and think further. It's said to be an invisible process which we cannot see. Transmitting transmitting is the process of conveying messages or thoughts from senders to listeners. In face-to-face -face communication, the sender transmits the message directly to the receiver without a channel. In mass communication, the sender uses TV, radio, or newspaper to transmit the message. Receiving so technically, when sound waves make an impact upon the listener's ears after which the resulting nerve impulses reach the brain via auditory nerve, simpler sense, it is the process of receiving messages from the receivers. The receiver accepts ideas and decodes them to provide feedback. Usually, listeners receive messages from senders and they respond to deliver opinions. Feedback the communicator may or may not show overt behavior like a nod, yawn, or smile. It also validates the communication process into transactional, because without any response, then it's linear. Eugene White's model recognizes feedback as a part of the communication process. He described the process as sequential and cyclical, following the eight stages of oral communication. These stages are thinking, symbolizing, expressing, transmitting, receiving, decoding, feedbacking, and monitoring. Although White's model recognizes the interaction of the sender and the receiver of the message, it fails to consider the active role of the receiver of the message in the process. Eugene White's model is a transactional communication theory that explains oral discussion. In 1960, scientist Eugene White introduced a transactional communication theory. Consequently, it is known as Eugene White's model of verbal discussion.
The most important component of Eugene White's model is feedback, and feedback makes it a transactional model of communication. Jacobson proposes that each of these six factors, addresser, message, context, contact, code, and addressee, determines a different linguistic function. His model demonstrates that messages and meanings cannot be isolated from contextual factors. Jacobson makes an outline for his six functions of language as the model of communication which is the addressee will get the message from the addresser. The text slash code should require a context that referred to the referent slash receiver to be operative. The texts should be full of codes or at least partially codes between the encoder, addresser, and the decoder, addressee, of the message. Then, a contact, a psychological connection between the encoder and decoder, will connect both of them and keep them stay in those communications. Russian-American linguist, Roman Jacobson. He looks at what needs to be present in the process of linguistic communication, beyond the simple relationship of sending and receiving of information, he introduced the theoretical model of the functions of language. The shift from linear, cyclical, interactive slash circular model of communication, it was when researcher noticed the important role of the receiver. In linear, it fails to take into action the interaction between the sender and receiver. Wilbur Schramm published the circular communication model in 1954, several years after Laswell's communication model was published. Schramm wrote and spoke about the communication model, based on the model by Charles Edgerton Osgood, in his book. The Process and Effects of Mass Communication He later made some changes, including introducing the field of experience, or commonality. This refers to what is mutually understood between the recipient and the sender. Then comes the in 1955, Wilbur Schramm model emphasized that each of the communicators take on the roles of an encoder, interpreter, and decoder in the communication process. Osgood Schramm also emphasized the importance of people's fields of experience in the interpretation of meaning. This means that people involved in communication must share a similar experience or a common schematic background about the topic of conversation in order to connect with and understand each other. Transactional models of communication Of all the kinds of models, the transactional model of communication is considered the most accurate representation of the communication process. Although the interactive models recognize feedback and the cyclical process of communication, these do not illustrate the dynamic and simultaneous nature of communication. Interactive models fail to take into account the fact that both communicators can send and receive information at the same time. Julia Wood's model portrayed communication as a dynamic process which continually changes over time depending on previous interactions. Model portrayed communication as a dynamic process which continually changes over time depending on previous interactions. Example of this is how you communicate to your parents, teachers, and peers is influenced by the history of your relationships and the way you communicated with them in the past. In this model, first we have the personal field, or individuality this includes all facets like cultural background, religious beliefs, and the likes that affects the interpretation of the message. While the shared field, from the term itself is the similarities in different aspects of both the sender and receiver which aids in the understanding or being on the same page in the process, time and context here are continuously changing as well as the transfer of messages between the receiver and and the sender where the two take turns in receiving and delivering the message to one another. It is designed primarily to represent public communication, is composed of the following elements, the speaker, listeners, feedback, message, channel, situation, and cultural context. Speakers may be evaluated according to their credibility, self-concept or attitude towards self or others, knowledge of the subject, and intention or purpose of communication. Listeners, on the other hand, are characterized by their purpose of listening, knowledge and interest about the topic, listening skills, and their attitudes towards self, the speaker, and ideas or information presented, feedback may be intentional, e.g., reply, angry retort, etc., or unintentional, e.g., yawning, and verbal, oral or written, or nonverbal. Feedback moves in both directions, and may simultaneously come from both the speaker and the listener.
The three aspects of a message include the content, the structure, and the style. The channels of communication include the verbal channel, which deals with language, the visual channel, which is involved with the interpretation of nonverbal message, the oral or paralinguistic channel, which carries meaning through the manner in which the message was conveyed, e.g., tone, pitch, loudness, and the pictorial channel, which is concerned aids complementing the message. The situation element refers to the physical environment and social context in which communication occurs, while the cultural context deals with the rituals, rules, and norms imposed by a particular culture.